Forget what they say, they don't know about us now Shoot it if you want my love Oh, hey Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very blessed Eid IP to everyone. In today's video, we are going to give you an insight into what communication using audio-visual aids are all about. As I'm talking to you right now, I am using audio or verbal means of communication as a way of transferring information. So, what are communication using audio-visual aids? We say to our customers usually, never underestimate the importance of using good quality, high-impact audio-visual equipment. It is a crucial difference between a forgetful corporate event and an exciting experience that leaves a long-lasting message. Audio-visual communication is a, produ is a productive form of communication. Using sound and also lighting, equipment improves communication by heightening the awareness of your audience's sight, sight and also hearing. Audiences who use more of their senses to engage at events remember most of the events for a longer period of time. So, let's cut to the chase and let's look on how communication using audiovisual aids cater to our audiences audiences very effectively previously the most often used instrument in classroom were chalk and board in scientific classroom for example professors frequently draw diagrams or figures on the board to aid in presentation however with the advancement of the technology there are a variety of aids available for such powerpoint which may be shown to the students using a projector. Teachers will save a lot of time and energy as a result. You may incorporate a range of visual aids such as charts, graphs, pictures, and video into the same presentation using communication technology. PowerPoint is the most popular presentation application that it has recently been joined by a lot of key competitors, including Google, Slide, Keynote, Prezi, and Adidas. You might be able to utilize one of these applications in your speech class. If you want to use presenting technology effectively, you must first understand why, how, and when to use it. Instead of listing everything you see on the screen for the audience to read, you should pick and select which parts of the speech to debate. This makes a lot of difference. You should consider how you may utilize presenting technologies to improve your ideas when you arrange your talk. At the same time, keep in mind that too many or bad visuals might cause more harm than benefit. Allow yourself to be inventive and resourceful without letting technology take over your whole speech. Next, we are going to look at the implementation of the audio-visual aids. Here, I will provide an example of the virtual classroom. A virtual classroom is a tool to set up video conferencing to allow instructors and participants to participate in a face-to-face -face meeting or classes. The most obvious and most significant use of the virtual classroom is during COVID-19 pandemic. Just a few months ago, a lot of Malaysian students were struggling to familiarize themselves due to challenges that they have to face such as speed and the reliability of the internet connection. After a few months of series of going through these obstacles, they started to appreciate it since they noticed some positivities of these tools. Asynchronous classes, on the other hand, provide students with more flexibility of schedule and environment. This can widen the choice of the environment whether they want to study at their bedroom, cafe or library. Apart from that, virtual classroom also reduce cost of education. This includes tuition, housing and transportation fees. In addition to that, students can also train themselves to some essential life values, which is self-confidence and sense of responsibility. Especially for those who have self-motivation, these values can be utilized in their future career. So, the other example of the audio-visual audio -visual presentation aid is all of the application that Microsoft has provided to all of us. So, they have three things, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and also Microsoft Excel. The first one, the, first one, the Microsoft Word is useful if you, are, if you want to present your research paper to your professor or to your lecturer so that they can review and actually see what you are talking about when you project the Microsoft Word in front of them. The second one is the Microsoft Excel. This Microsoft Excel is very useful and very crucial if you want to display your data because in this Microsoft uh, Excel, we have all of the things, all of the software that we can use to display our data correctly. We have bar graph, we have pie chart and all of the other things that will help your audience for better understanding in your speech. So the last and not very least is the Microsoft PowerPoint. 
this Microsoft PowerPoint is very useful because you can combine both of the Microsoft Word and just and, and your Microsoft Excel data in this one piece of software so that you can display them and you can present your all of your speech professionally to your audience. So that's all for me. Thank you. Hi guys. Today I'm going to talk about the type of the presentation and also the examples. So the type of presentation that I chose is the objects. Objects are often used as a visual aids in the demonstration speeches. Most how to speeches use visual examples that show the audience how to move from step to step through a particular process or activity. For example, if you were giving a speech about tying notes, it will be more effective to bring in a rope as a prop than to simply show a photograph or a series of photographs to the audience. Why tying a knot is a relatively straightforward activity. Many processes are more complex. If you're demonstrating how to decorate a cake, it will, it will make sense to use objects like a cake, frosting, and cake decorating supplies to show the audience each of the steps. Decorating a cake from start to the finish can be a time-consuming task that requires a significant concentration. True? So, you probably don't want to show your audience the full process from start to the finish. I think that's all for me and thank you for watching. Bye. We have seen theories underlying audiovisual aids, the proper usage of audiovisual aids and the example. Now, let's see the advantages of using audiovisual aids. To begin, it helps in relieving the speaker's anxiety. This is because when using audiovisual aids to convey the speech, the speech is not entirely relying on words. Instead, audiovisual aids can distract the audience. There may be errors, but they are less noticeable than without the usage of the aids. It is easier to retain the audience's focus on you when you use audiovisual aids. It is easier to retain the audience's focus on you when you use audiovisual aids. While simply sitting and listening to someone speak may be uninteresting and boring, visual aid would spark the interest of the majority of those there. Imagine being in a classroom where the teaching is entirely by words and another one where the lecturer uses videos, PowerPoint presentations and diagrams. Which one would you want to be in? Honestly for me, I would be very much interested in being in the second classroom because I think it is more effective at the same time it uses entertaining way of delivering the lecture. It is also very easy for the audience to understand and retain the information you present when you employ audiovisual aids. Text with a related graphic is easier to comprehend than plain text. People recall what they see more than what they hear. This statement is supported by a research that reveals 80% of what people see is being remembered as compared to only being heard. Lastly, when you employ hearing and visual aids, the participants' involvement and engagement will rise. The audience would have a better learning experience because of this. As can be shown, there are plenty of advantages to using audiovisual aids in public speaking. As a final chapter, I would want to encourage all of you to begin using audiovisual aids to improve your public speaking skills. I hope all of you find this knowledge useful and that it will assist you in becoming a better speaker in the future. That is all from us. Thank you so much.